Right, well, welcome back. This episode may be a little bit jumping around, so you just need to prepare for that. This section in here is really, really huge. So what I'm going to do is just give you more general directions on what you should do more than anything else, rather than just saying, let's follow every single twist and turn on the way. So what we're going to do to start with is just make our way along the outer fence and you can choose the left or the right hand side and get up to the first shroud route and we'll see you there. All right, so we've got to find a way Keep this guy triggered, but also take him out at the same time. There we go. All right, well, that'll take the enshrouded off this section, which is good. Now, before we sort of go. crazy and search everywhere else. Let's make sure we get our Fell Thunderbrute head. All right, so, boy oh boy. And you can see, we've been ginning around here for 20 minutes, 25 minutes probably. And all we've done is gone through about five or six buildings. <laughs> this area is huge. So, Hmm, I wonder if we can get, because you can see just there, there's a really big gate. So I'm not really sure whether we can actually make it in there or not. All right, what we'll do is we'll just make a judgment call. We'll quickly pop over here, see if we can... Get in here. Oh, look at that. Flame Sanctum. Hey, there we go. So we've got a kettle. Fantastic. So we've still got to find this Fell Wisp Wyvern. And he looks like he's kind of ahead of us. So we'll make sure we collect our spark while we're here. Right, so. Ooh, all right, so just here in Hoxter Square, a hidden little wooden chest. It's one of our little secrets. Okay, so now we're in Pike's Port. And that boss is supposed to be directly in front of us somewhere. So I'm not really sure if we want to go take him on or not, but uh oh, maybe we'll just check out where he is to start with. All right, so now that we've found some high ground up here, the boss is up here and to the left somewhere. Okay. Here we go, so as we suspected, oh yep, I'd say it's in there. So what we've got to try and do is find a way in there. So we'll see if we can make our way around the outside here. Alright, new location, the pike. All right, so I'd say we're on the right track by the looks of that. Just 
Just saw some nails out the corner of my eye there. Oh, handy little wooden chest. Fantastic. And grab a save point wherever you can. So if we are near this boss now, I think what we'll do is juice up as much as we possibly can on everything we possibly can. Some honey. Because it looks like we could be near where we actually need to get to. Because there was a door locked that was underneath us. All right. And this is where the boss is supposed to be, I think. So see how we go. Son of a biscuit! It's a big dragon! Right, so just a few major tips on killing the Wisp Wyvern here. One of which is, you'll notice I've been using wooden arrows, so that is pretty much a big no-no. But I've already killed this boss probably half a dozen times in my main playthrough and I just wanted to sort of try a few things so I've actually made things really difficult for myself kind of deliberately. What I would do if I were you and if you're at around about the same level that I am, craft yourself some copper arrows or poison arrows if you've got them, just craft the best arrows that you've got and that you possibly can, bring them in and kill him with them. You'll notice here that I am dodging and ducking and weaving and whatnot quite a lot. Two of the big things you'll need to watch in here, one of which is health and the other of which is energy. You'll see I'm down on energy a lot and pretty much all the time to be honest. So that's a really big thing you need to watch in here. And basically the number one thing is just to sort of be really methodical about it and Try and get it done with as much method as you can and just, uh, you know, don't try and do it in a hurry mainly. And another really big thing here, you'll see there's a little circle that is on his knee or his back at different points. Try and aim for that because that's actually a weak point. You'll see there's more damage actually is inflicted upon the Wisp Wyvern if you hit those points. So that's a really good thing to use and utilize throughout the fight. All right, so we learned a few things there. Number one, don't panic. I know it seems completely counterintuitive, but as soon as we stopped panicking and just kind of got clinical with what we're actually doing, it worked out so much better. It was much easier to take him out. The other thing is as well, to be honest, we are really not at the level where we should be to be able to take out these sort of guys and we don't have the equipment on us. All right, well, that's it for us on this episode. The next time we catch up, we're going to do a little bit different of a walkthrough and just do the chests and the valuables only in this particular section of the map. You might have noticed that out of the last two episodes, all of the chests and law pages and whatnot are missing. So we're going to include those in one separate video. So we're going to get onto that next time. All right. Well, thanks very much for watching once again, and we'll see you next time on Glitch Gaming.